Hello guys. What you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> We are couch shopping and we went to a really expensive store first, right? Which is fine. We always do this. We always do this. And it's not even on purpose. We just, that's where we start. We fall in love with yes. this one couch. It's His name fucking is gorgeous. It's Sorrento and I love it. It's really pretty and perfectly comfortable and ticks every single box, but it's like double what I wanted to spend. Like I'm one of those shoppers that's like, I want every single feature, but don't want to spend for all the features. <sighs> there was a bug on the camera. Um, oh, it's still there. <sighs> Get off. So we fall in love with this couch and I'm like, oh, do we really want to get, do we want to spend that much on a couch? And I look at it like this. So he's going to be home every day all the time. I want him to be comfortable. It's the most comfortable couch. And it is ideal. Like you could so sit on nice. that couch for hours. It reclines. The headrest reclines. Like it's gorgeous. Yeah. And I said, let's just be smart and go and look at some other stores. And literally the first, like the next store we walk into, I'm just looking at all the couches like they're all the amount I wanted to spend but they don't tick any boxes. And I said to Zoe, sometimes paying a little bit more, especially for house things, like a couch and a TV, spend that extra bit and you get the best quality and you're so happy with it. And I just think I can't commit to big purchases because we just keep going back and forth on where we want to live. Mm. And so I just keep not like settling. Like I just don't, like, you know what I mean? Like if we lived in like our forever home or like a place we knew we were going to be for like five years, I'd be like, fuck it, let's ball out. Let's just get everything we want. But I keep hesitating because I'm like, what if we move back to America? I love it. I'm happy with it. I'm very, very, very happy with it. And I'm happy with paying that much money and still having that couch for like a year and a half. Mm. It's gonna be one of those things where I'm like, I'll literally stay in this country for that couch. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be stunning. Are you be, excited? It's gonna be perfect. You, I, I'm like so happy that you have found this new random little hobby of building things. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know how I got into it. I kind of fell into it. <laughs> <laughs> now look at you. Yeah, now a builder. By trade. Oh, by um, trade, you're qualified. And by daytime, I am full business. Mm -hmm. And business by day and by trade, I am a builder. Right, okay. I'm becoming Australian. Also, not only Australian, but um, it is a lesbian stereotype. And the builder and the relationship. Well, I am a builder too, but the fact that you can You having to build. put that out there. I'm a builder too. <laughs> <laughs> I just want anyone to know that I'm a builder too. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm a builder. I could care less. But I am having a very fun time having a hobby that I like to build things. So if you need something built, um, I can build it for you. Just bring it to my house because I want to do it. I want to do it at home. Fair. And then come pick it up on its own. And what are you building today? Um, we need more storage in our bathroom. We keep leaving our makeup bags on the counter sink or on the sink um, bench and it's just too small. So these are actually going to be baskets where we put our makeup bags um, and then other random stuff because I don't know if you know, but we're two girls living in this house and we have like this size, like go show them the size of what we got. I'll show you guys. So this is our bathroom right now tiny little one sinker remember when we lived in that mansion and we had freaking his and her sinks that was lit we were out to get some organizers maybe some toothbrush holders and everything but yeah that's what it looks like for now um that's my sink that's bianca's don't touch my sink don't touch mine <laughs> but we only have a small bathroom now two tiny little drawers those drawers are tiny and a little cupboard that only has two shelves so i was like let's get something for here for the makeup bags and stuff that we use every day to put on there. Hence, this thing. That's where this is gonna go. So we just went and picked this up from Kmart, 20 bucks. My tradesman wife is gonna put it together 
And we're gonna have more storage. Oh, so I think I could have this in like 10 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty well much. Do you, want, do, you want, do you want to do, I'm still a bit scared on the drill. Not my favorite thing. Um, so if you want me to do it? Yeah, if you could bring the drill. Okay. Yeah. I'll hold it in the area you need to be, but. Just this one. Mm -hmm. It's a bit weird. I mean, I'll do the bottom one first. So, I'm doing this one. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I'm going to unscrew it. Unscrew the side. You broke the first rule, tightening one thing too much. That's why I still have you. I got excited. Because I knew how to build it. That doesn't make me a bad builder. I told Bianca that one of the rules of building, like when you're screwing stuff in, is that you never tighten, like if there's four screws on four different corners, you don't tighten one and then one and then one and then one. You put them all in loosely. And she broke that rule, so. It doesn't feel like it's going to be What? You're so scared of the drill. Hey! <laughs> Don't do the drill again. <laughs> I'm serious. I want it. Oh, this is so cute. This Very is $20. What a bargain. Yeah. Another build. Stop it. Perfect, that's exactly what we needed it for. Yeah, looks so much better. Aw, she's so cute. Oh no, this one. Because these are more hidden, don't you think? Mm. And that was $20, I'm very happy with 20 them. bucks. Look at this basketball. That is so hectic, I can't believe it. Baby's been moving so much today. Um, these are my little Kmart shorts that I showed you guys in the last vlog. And I'm also going to do a little fashion show for you um, with the other ones that I'll be wearing tonight for a sushi date. So this is the other pair, um, the brown pair that I showed you guys. Oh my god, they don't have pockets. Oh, that actually sucks. <gasps> Oh well, they were ten dollars from Kmart, so that's what you get. But I have to like fold all of my pants over like twice, which is so weird because I'm literally so tall, but still for some reason they touch the ground. Probably because you're meant to wear them higher, like they're probably high waisted. But oh, the feeling of like I give it to pregnant women who can wear like gym tights up here no that's gonna be a no for me i cannot have something sitting on my stomach and then i've got like this cute shirt i'm going to show you so i got this top as a backup um for the baby shower to go with the brown silk pants that i wore in case i didn't want to do full brown and this is from uniqlo it is like one of the nicest shirts i love uniqlo's um quality i just feel like it lasts so yeah just cute little, I just love having my belly show a little bit. So this is my sushi date, pregnancy attire. So I had a meeting this morning with um, a private midwife that basically like an interview where like I interview them um, and we just like do a meet and greet to see if we vibe together. Um, and if I want that person here, like on the day, because I am doing a home birth. For those of you who don't listen to our ex-best friends podcast, which you absolutely should. I'm going to link that down below. I did mention on there for the first time, kind of like online, that I was choosing to do a home birth. And I am so freaking excited. Like I, I'm actually really excited for this experience. Um, you know, regardless of the intensity and the unknown, I just feel like, I'm like really excited. I don't know why, I just feel like it's just gonna be such a cool human experience. Um, but anyway, yeah, interviewed someone this morning, really liked her vibe. She 
was super non like judgmental of like my beliefs and the way that I want to have it. Um, but I just feel so good that I didn't talk about it on social media for the past 36 weeks because then I've been able to, you know, do it in my own way and do my own research without having like outside unsolicited negative opinion from people who I don't know. So this lady has um, a birth pool that she'll bring over and set up in the house and I'll only have people here who are like fully supporting me. Obviously Bianca will be there. Her mum will be here, which is really cool. She'll be here in like four weeks. My best friend will be there and then uh, my two little sisters will be on call for like support. So yeah, I just wanted people around me who I know will, you know, just be that positive voice of reason in my mind to be like, you can do this, you've got this. Cause I know that I can, but yeah, that's why I did the interview with the midwife just to see what her kind of vibe was and to see if we like match together, um, which we do. So yeah, I met her this morning. It's now nighttime. I said to her that I wanted the day to like think about it and just make sure because like, this is like, like once in a lifetime experience that I just wanted to make sure I was making the right choice. So yeah, I'm gonna message her shortly and say, let's do it. Um, I want you on my team. I've started having dates um, every day and I'm gonna start having my raspberry, red raspberry leaf tea soon, which is supposed to make labor a lot smoother and faster and just be really good for your uterus. So yeah, I just have a really good feeling. I have a really positive outlook on this. I got a delivery from Kmart and I'm really excited to see what it is because I think it's some stuff for the home birth. I'm just like a bored housewife, as you guys know, and I just order stuff online and then it gets delivered and that's just like the most exciting part of my day. I have started my labor prep routine, which is, I'll actually show you the little routine that I have. Um, no, I won't because it's not printed, but it's basically at the moment, it's just like a daily walk, a raspberry leaf tea, dates, yoga, yoga ball exercises. And I'm in week 36 at the moment. So as we approach week 37, 38, 39, um, I just add in more things and I'm going to go and try acupuncture on Saturday. All right. So I bought 10 of these $2.50 towels. They are just like plain thin white towels, $2.50 absolute bargain because obviously I'm having a home birth and there's going to be juices. There's going to be water. There's going to be blood, you know, there's going to be mess to clean up. So we've got some towels. Um, I also got another one of these food containers because you can't have too many food containers. Oh, I got a waterproof fitted mattress protector to go on the bed just in case my waters break when I'm in bed or I want to give birth on the bed because we just got a new mattress and the last thing I want is my mattress getting ruined. So we got that. We got towels. Uh, and it also was suggested to me by TikTok to get these. Puppy pads, also for the potential juices around the place. <laughs> you might have just heard Bianca yell out, yuck. She is very sick in bed, so. Yeah, more towels. Oh, and lastly, um, I also got these cute little wooden hooks. I'm gonna drill one into the back of our door to put Bianca's jackets on that she leaves on my work desk, which I've told her you can do whatever you want in this house besides put stuff on my work desk. Um, Cause I don't like having to clean up my desk before I start a task. So her stuff will now be hanging on these hooks. And that's my haul.